All right, this video is about making an on-shape chair. It's option two for full credit in my class. And then you can take on the opportunities for extra credit as well. But we are going to make option two right here. Option two, you're going to make an assignment, uh, make a project, and you're going to name it your last name chair. Then you're going to draw the seat first, then the legs, then the backrest, and then you're going to turn it in, okay? So let's do this seat first. You're going to start on the top plane, 20 by 20 inch square, finish the sketch, extrude it by a half inch. Okay, so let's do all that at once. Okay, so top plane, sketch, where are we sketching? We're sketching on the top plane, rectangle, just click somewhere right here. How big? 20 enter, 20 enter. And then you hit over here on the word top to zoom it out so it shows the entire thing because yes this is a big shape where some of you haven't made a big shape on here uh, a big project before like a little handheld basketball i fit all on the screen well this time you gotta zoom out to be able to see everything okay so then we hit our check mark then we hit extrude what are we extruding you're gonna hit that right there you're gonna make it 0.5 inches you're gonna hit your check mark you know look 0.5 sticks out good so everything we did looks good okay so next we are going to start a sketch on the bottom of the extruded thing we just made and make a three-quarter outline on the inside and then extrude it by three and a half inches okay so that means the bottom view sketch where are we sketching well, on the bottom of the thing we made okay not the over there the bottom of the thing we just made okay so then you're going to hit the offset button and you're just going to click right here in the center of it and then it's going to do all four corners for you but here's the issue right here you want to make sure this face is inward not outward on this arrow right here so once it faces inward every time you click on it, it switches it inward good hit enter change this to 0 0.75 enter okay check mark that and now we got a little outline so we can have a little overhang on the chair okay so then you hit the extrude button be very careful here do not click the center do not click the entire sketch Right here between the outline, I mean the offset we just made and the original line. So right here between it, good spot there. Make that three and a half inches. Hit your check mark, and now you got, you know, the seat. All right, next we're going to make some legs on the bottom. There is going to be a new tool many of you haven't used before, the project tool. Okay, so we're going to start a sketch on the bottom of the thing we just made. Draw two inch squares at each corner and extrude them down by 18 inches. Okay, so bottom view sketch okay so where do you want to sketch you want to sketch on this plane right here the big center part of it that does not stick out okay here's an important thing if you go to the rectangle tool you see how these corners don't highlight like these do well we want them to be highlighted so we need to turn them on by using the project tool so we're going to project that up we're going to project that one on turn it on over here and over here now we're going to go to rectangle go to that corner right there draw the rectangle how big two enter two enter do the same thing on all four. Could you do the mirror tool? Yeah, but it's just four rectangles, so I'm just going to do it like this. Okay, two enter, two enter. So now i got four of those in each corner. I'm going to hit the check mark. Now I'm going to extrude those legs out 18 inches like the directions say. So extrude. Well, guess what? Sketch 3 only had those four squares, so I might as well just click right there and do it and instead of clicking them individually and risking getting weird shapes. So I got 18 inches for the legs to stick out. I hit the check mark. If I go to this view right here, isometric, ta-da, the legs are sticking out perfectly. And now all we got to do is do the backrest. So how do we do that? We're going to start a sketch on the top of the thing that we made. Um, draw two inch squares in the back two corners and extrude them up 20 inches. Okay, so top view, sketch, where are we sketching? On the top of the thing we just made, a rectangle that starts in that corner right there to there, two inches by two inches. Then we're going to do the same thing over here, two inches by two inches. We're going to hit our check mark, and then we're going to hit extrude. And again, sketch four just had those two rectangles. So we're just going to click on that. And the direction said to extrude in 20 inches, so we're going to do that. And if we go to this isometric view, now you can see we have these two uh, poles sticking out. Now all we got to do is actually put the rest on those. Okay, here's how we do that. It's actually pretty easy. Just don't um, try to give it a size because on shape will figure it out for you. Okay, so we're going to draw a rectangle that starts in the top left, bring it down to the top right, and extrude it by a half. So front view, sketch. Very important what plane you're drawing on. Okay, since it's going to go in front of these, it needs to be on this right here, right? Or this right here. That would have been fine also. But you want it to be on this plane, not the front plane because that's behind that because you see the front plane's way up here. 
Okay, so you want this plane right here. I'm going to go back to my front view. You're going to take a rectangle that starts in that top left-hand corner, bring it down here to the bottom right-hand corner, hit my check mark. I'm going to extrude that rectangle I just made, which is by itself on number five. I'm going to make it a half an inch, like the directions say. Hit my check mark and isometric view it. Ta-da! That is option two.